So we've dealt with addition and subtraction and we did the multiplication division. Now I'm gonna do a lot of examples of those so you, you get the idea. I just want to lay down the rules of properties or you know the transition from one phase to another, one level to another. What uh, what new powers you have basically, okay? And that's taking the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, moving over to exponents. It really does give you new powers. You can do new things, you can do more things. Um, or you can talk about more things when you're, when you're uh, talking in the language of mathematics, right? Now, there's one additional rule that comes that you know manifests itself when you go to the exponents, when you're transferring operations, right? We just, we just started, we just introduced a whole new level in the game, in the, in the language, where we're taking exponent, where we're taking something and putting it to exponent. So what we're gonna do now is, obviously, obviously, what's gonna happen is, someone would have come up with the idea, hey, what happens if this goes to an exponent as well? What if there's another exponent here, right? The way it works is, exponents, to an exponent, these guys multiply each other. So if you had a to the power of two, to the power of three, two and three multiply each other. So it becomes a to the power of six. So the way it works is, all you have to have is uh, just a new rule being added on to what we already understood or what we already learned in the rational numbers, in the base level of mathematics going up to the exponents. The new rule is, if you have exponent to an exponent, you multiply the exponents. So for example, if you had, where do we start here? Two, a to the negative two, all to the power of five. Now, this is the distributive property going in here, and it applies to this and this. And what you do with the exponents is you multiply these guys. For example, if this was a two here as well, this would be two, this applies to this, and this. So two times five is 10, so this would be two to the power of 10, and e to the power of negative 10. And of course, negative powers, the way it works is it just kicks down into the denominator, right? So this becomes two to the power of 10 over if you had, for example, 2a to the power of 4 to a power of a half. Again, you have exponent to an exponent. Now, instead of working this from the inside out, work it from the outside in. And you can do this because there's no addition or subtraction breaking these. So what you can do here is multiply the exponents and then apply it inside. Instead of applying it inside first and then taking it to the power of a half. So the way this works is four times a half, um, if you remember, again, fractions, four times a half, that's just four over one. When you're multiplying fractions, it's pretty straight up. Top multiplies top, bottom multiplies bottom. Four times one is four, two times one is two. So that's just four over two, which makes it two, right? Now, for this, this becomes a. And when you multiply these guys, it becomes to the power of 2. And we already talked about 2a to the power of 2. And this is distributive. This applies to this and this. So 2 squared is 4. a squared is 2. So 2 squared becomes 4. a squared becomes a squared. And that's your answer for this. So 2a to the power of 4, 2a to the power of 4, to the power of a half is... 4a squared.